Okay, so this is the week two module, um, working on a new thing. And let me start by showing you what it is we're gonna aim at recreating. Um, this is what we'll end up with when we're done, so you're not just following me blindly. Um, the clip is gonna look like this, okay? So um, I will put a copy of this in the files tab on the left nav. And what this involves is some new tools. We're gonna explore making masks. And what masks are, are like this thing that looks like a hole cut in the footage is a mask. And you can move masks and you can change the shape of masks. As you can see, this mask starts out being a square and then it morphs into a circle shape. And it also moves around on the screen. So masks are super useful. You see them all the time in motion graphics. They're used to hide things, to reveal things, to cut out parts of an image, or to cut in parts of an image. Um, and so I wanna get your hands on this tool because it's one of the most used and powerful tools that you can have in After Effects. Um, all the footage that you need to make this clip will be in the core, <clears throat> excuse me, in the course, you should see, this is, this is one of the pieces. Um, hang on a second, let me close this. Um, over, Let's see, if I go back to the course, this is the spring version of the course, but you'll see over here, um, there's a files tab over on your left. In the files tab, I'm gonna put all the stuff you need. Um, it'll maybe be in a folder, um, I haven't made it yet. It'll be in, what is it here? Do quiz one, I might rename it, but it'll have in it this, duplicate this.mov, if you look at that, no, I don't want to download it. I just want to show you. That's what we just looked at, okay? So there's three parts to this. There's the skeleton footage, there's these stripes, and then there's this smokestack. So there's three different pieces you need, and they're all... <clears throat> close this. This is the sample that you're duplicating. This is the skeleton by itself. It's an x-ray of some poor chap smoking a cigarette. And then there's this smokestack footage. Looks like that. These are all from a textbook I used to use. They were free uh, stuff. And then this stripes one. This is just this. Okay? So you want to start by finding those over in the files tab over here. And when you find them, um, you want to download them. So this skeleton smoke, if you have it checked over here, or actually you can just hit this dot and say download. And it will download and it'll put it wherever you want. So I've got uh, summer 19 folder, let's put it in there. Skellysmoke.mov, sure, save that. And then smokestack right here, same thing, hit the dot, say download, put it in a place where you know where it is, summer 19 folder, thank you very much. Put it in there. And then the stripes, same thing, download, put it in my summer 19 folder, shave it. You can see they're all down here. Um, now, if I go to After Effects, let's get things set up, and then I'll stop this video and we'll get busy. Um, this is the this is what I was working on last time, the ball bouncing and stuff. So I'm going to make a new project. Let's say File, Save this one. Make sure it's saved. Bounce Summer 19 AEP. That's just great. Save. It says, Do you want to replace it? Sure, please replace it. And I'm going to do a new one. File, New, New Project. So this just resets my interface, everything's empty, but it's untitled, see, untitled project. So before you get busy working, you wanna save it. So say file, save as, and I'm gonna call this skeleton, skeleton.aep in my summer 19 folder. This summer 19 folder, I've got two of them, I still need to clean this up. This is the one that has all the stuff in it, so I'm going to save it there. All right, and let's bring in those clips. So file, import. You can do one file at a time, or you can say multiple. If you say multiple, it lets you kind of shop. And my Mac interface does this handy thing where it remembers the last things I did, so they're all right here. So I want this, and if I say open it, it'll put it in, and then it'll keep saying it'll keep popping back up and saying, what do you want? So I already did skeleton smoke, I'll do smoke stack. I could actually hold down shift, 
do both of these at once. Smokestack and Stripes, I say open. And then when it says, what else do you want? I've got everything I want, so I just say cancel. All right, so I've got these three in here. Now, before I make a new comp and start building the thing, um, you know, when you go like this, composition, new composition, it asks you about what size, right? And typically we make things at this HD screen size because that's what most stuff is. So I'm going to call this um, example. Don't, don't, don't make this. I just want to show you something. I'm going to make an example when it's large, right? And so this is an HD sized screen. If I take any of these, like the skeleton smoke, and bring it over here and drop it, it's tiny, right? And you might say, well, why is it so small? Look at the size up here of this clip. It's 320 by 240. It's small. It's made for, for uh, old school tutorials. So it's not full screen. It's a little tiny thing. And you might say, okay, well, here's Skeleton Movie. If I hit S for scale and scale it up, you know, I can make it screen size. Well, yes, you can make this screen size. But the problem with making the screen size is, number one, the uh, proportional dimensions of it are old school television size. So they're not widescreen. So it's not going to fit this rectangle very nicely. And also, when you take something that's small and low resolution, 320 by 240, and you scale it up like this, I make this 400 times the original size, the resolution is not going to look good. You're blowing up all those pixels. It's still 320 by 240. You're just magnifying it. So the, the, the resolution is going to look very kind of crummy. So don't, don't make a new comp that is large. Mm, here, this new one I just did. See how this is 1920 by 1080? Don't make a new comp. I'm going to get rid of this. Take this example and delete it. It says, are you sure you want to do that? Yes, I am. All right. Uh, what you want to do instead is take the skeleton smoke thing. And if you, there's a number of ways you can do this. If you take this and drag it over new comp, it will make a new composition that is exactly the size of your clip. The annoying thing is, is it calls it the same thing as the clip. So that's, that's fine. It makes a good sized comp here. Like you can see this comp right up here is 320 by 240. But if you do that, what I would say is I would rename this, um, select it here and go to composition, composition settings, and it's called Skelly Smoke. I would call this something different. I would call it like, you know, I don't know, um, week two skeleton or something, right? Just because when two things are named the same thing, it, it, it can get confusing later on. You know, if you, have, if you have 25 things in here and there's three things called skelly smoke, you don't know what's what. So I like to name things what they are. So you could rename it that, right? Another way you can do that, here's, I'm going to get rid of this. Another way you can do it is uh, at any time you can take a clip, an imported clip, and if you control click on it, you get this drop down, and you can say make a new comp from this selection which is arguably the same as what I just did with the drag, okay? And, but same thing, it's gonna name it, it's gonna name it the same thing as the clip, so I would um, rename it. Something else, okay? It also makes it the exact duration of the clip. Uh, you can see this clip, this clip, it, oh no wait, where is it, skeleton smoke, this, this clip is, um, 11 seconds and 12 frames, it's almost 12 seconds, and so this made it the same, the same, okay? So I'm going to save this and then move on to clip two.